Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last video, I actually forgot one step. Um, I could demonstrate it by adding this basically like console log, hello world, right? Um, this should be executing on load, um, but because I forgot to actually make the engine use this asset manager, uh, you can see here if I hit play and look at the console log, there is no hello world. So a quick fix for this is just simply to go into config, default engine, then you look for engine.engine .engine right here. And you're gonna add this line of code and you're gonna replace this like with your project name. So I think we called it demo and then the name of the asset manager class like that. All right, so let's try that again. And now if we hit play, we should see the hello world. There it is. Now that we have that sorted out, in this episode, we'll be discussing attributes and creating an attribute set for our characters. So before we do that, let's just talk about what an attribute is. So if you look at the documentation, basically an attribute is a field that can be modified by an ability. So for example, say you have like an ability that does damage. So fireball and it hits a character and their health goes down, right? Health has to be an attribute for the fireball ability to actually interact with it and make it go down. All right. So that's essentially what an attribute is. And an attribute set is a collection of attributes that belongs to a given entity. So for example, our player might have health, stamina, mana, whatever. So let's create our base attribute set for like all of our characters. Cause we know every character is going to at least have health, right? So let's create a new C++ class. Look for attribute set. Oh, misspelled that. Okay. We'll call that um, character attribute set base and we will put that in here what was it character abilities um, attribute sets there all right now that we have that sorted out we can start working on defining attributes for our characters but first, let's talk about what an attribute is. An attribute is essentially just a field on an entity that an ability can modify. So for example, if an entity is going to heal itself or someone else, um, it would have to modify that entity's health value, right? And increase it. So health has to be an attribute for the healing ability to actually modify it. All right, so we want to create a, uh, an attribute set, which is essentially a collection of attributes for each of our characters. So let's just look for attribute set here. We'll call it character attribute set base, and we're going to put it in public character abilities attribute sets, because we might have multiple. And go ahead and create that. All right, and now let's just keep in mind that an attribute set is a collection of attributes. So we're gonna put all of the attributes that we want every character to have into this attribute set base class. All right, so the first thing we'll wanna do is copy and paste these macros. Um, if you don't really know what they do, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, they basically just help automate some of this setup process and they create getters, setters, and initters for all of our attributes. Next, we will want to create the attributes themselves. So we'll create a new public region. We will create one called health, right? We will create one called mana. And let's just update everything that says health to mana. And 
we're probably also going to need like a max health. And a max mana. Okay. Looks good. Um, we're also going to want to include a special header file so that the compiler knows that we're referencing stuff from like the ability system. All right, so let's just include this header file here. Also just delete that. Um, okay, now notice that this is referencing, or it's trying to reference a function called unrep health, unrep max health, and so on. These are basically just like functions that we need to create that tell the engine like how we want to replicate, or basically how to like synchronize their, these, the changes of these attributes online, essentially. All right, so for every single one of these, we'll want to create a function like this. We'll call it virtual void. And then, you know, on health, on rep health, called health. Same thing for max health. Oops, I did not mean to hit that. This is old, max health. And then we'll do a similar thing, but for mana. All right, so now see, we have references to actual functions here. We also need to mark these functions as U functions. So like Unreal Engine can find them and we also need to define one more function called get lifetime replicated props. Basically, again, it like it helps with uh, replication. So I'm just going to copy that as well. I think it's a virtual void const override like that. And I believe that's all we need to do. If none of this makes sense, please don't worry about it. Just bear with me. Um, this is just basically setting up like our attribute set. Um, you can only do this in C++, unfortunately. Uh, but I mean, if you just follow these instructions, it's pretty much the same thing every time. And as you can see, I'm, I'm literally just copying and pasting from, from directly from the documentation. Uh, and because I'm copying and pasting, one thing to note is Right, we're trying to reference this class called UG, UGD attribute set base. That's what it's called in the like sample project. So let's just change that to what we called our attribute set base class. Let's just replace all. And that should get rid of a lot of those errors. And let's just create implementations for these. So I'll just copy and paste those into here. Okay, let's just get rid of that. We want to get a, get rid of the override keyword as well. Um, now we can just copy and paste this code directly from the docs, but we want to add this line, this this like function call for every single attribute that we have. So we also have max health, we have mana, we have max mana. This basically tells the engine how we want to like do rep handle replication. There's different modes, as you can see, we're doing the rep notify always. Um, but if you look at the documentations, there's, there's different kinds, um, which I can kind of just look at in a second, but Let's just finish implementing these functions. So we can just copy and paste that and change this to actually modify our, our max health attribute and to use, you know, that variable there. Same for mana, Ma uh, 
mana and old mana. Old max mana. All right, just cleaning that up. And finally, we need to include one more header file. I think it was net, um, shoot, one second. Let me look for it. Unreal Network. There we go. And finally, remember, the, this function, I mean, this class does not exist in our project, so we just have to rename it to the name of our actual class. And yeah. Oh, and finally, sorry, almost forgot. You just need to add that to basically telecompile where we are creating the definitions or the implementations for, you know, these functions. All right, cool. So hopefully it should compile now without issues. All right, so it looks like our build succeeded, uh, which means we have a valid attribute set. We are gonna have to add one more attribute and it's a special type called a meta attribute. I pasted this from the uh, this like sample project, but essentially it's just um, kind of like a temporary attribute that we'll use to, to actually apply damage. The reason we want to have a special temporary one rather than directly modifying health and like making it go down is because we might have other abilities that could mitigate damage or amplify damage, right? So say you have armor, then maybe you would want to divide damage in two before you actually apply the damage, right? So it just kind of gives us more control over how much damage is being dealt to the player rather than if we had just modified health directly, we wouldn't really be able to control that from other abilities. So now that we have that, um, we pretty much have our completed attribute set. One last thing to note though, is we do not want to replicate this attribute because it's temporary, uh, which means we don't have to define these special functions, right? Cause this is for replication and we don't have to add, you know, a line of code for that attribute either. So yeah, that's, that's it for this attribute set. Now that we have a completed attribute set for our characters, we'll want to actually attach them to our characters. So in the next episode, we'll create kind of like our base character class that can interact with abilities and attach this attribute set to them.